One of the most difficult things to do as a believer or a Christian or a child of God is to wait on God. Hallelujah. Or even just to be still, basically meaning waiting on God. That is what we have to do when we are trusting God for something that we have been praying for and believing for and now we have to learn how to wait for the answer because we cannot make God move before he wants to move so we have to learn how to wait and be patient and be still in the presence of God wherever we are wherever we go no matter what the circumstances that we are dealing with and we are facing day after day night after night challenges after challenges we have got to learn how to adapt the scripture that is found in Psalms 46 and I want to read that scripture for you and a few other verses that is in this chapter that really blessed me this morning and taught me a lesson because I want you to know trumpeters and prayer partners that as a minister as one that travels the nations I too have to learn how to wait on God hallelujah you have to bake it you have to make it you have to prepare it you have to put it in the oven and wait until it is done so I am waiting on God for many, many things. And I have seen him came to pass and brought many of those things that I've been waiting and praying for. I've seen him bringing it to fruition. And I thank God for that. And even now, I am still believing God just like many of you out there believe in God for a miracle some kind of miracle that you are believing God for hello good morning good day good evening whatever time you are listening to this word this is your host of the word for today evangelist pastor Brian Bassett coming to you from Gulfport Florida so good to be back home amen the word for today is simply entitled being still and waiting on god being still and waiting on god and the scripture is found in psalms 46 verse 1 god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble hallelujah god will be there for us when we are in trouble and trust me child of god you and i will always be in some kind of trouble because as long as we are in this flesh and in this world there will be trouble now the trouble comes in many different stacks, many different packages, many different styles. And all the trouble comes from Satan. Hallelujah. And there are times when God would allow trouble to come your way. So you and I, hallelujah, can learn how to be still and wait on God. Hallelujah. And that's the other scripture that I want to come to. To you with right now that is found in Psalms 46 and verse 10 it says be still 
and know that I am God. Not your bishop, your pastor, your wife, your husband, your friends, your boss, or whoever it may be. He said, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. Who are we waiting on? We're waiting on God. Who are we trusting? We're trusting in the God of our salvation. Amen. First of all, he is a refuge. What does that mean? That means uh, it is a place of safety, a place of shelter, a place of security, a place where we can be strong in the Lord and we don't have to worry about anything else when it comes against us. It is a place where God has evacuated us from out of danger and put his, put his arms around us and he's now holding us in the shallow and in the comfort of his hands. And at the same time, he is telling you and reminding you and me that everything is going to be all right. Amen. Now, there are times when we will be anxious. We want God to do it right now. God, come on. I, I can't wait any longer. But you have to go back to Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 and verse verse 7 where the Bible tells us that we hallelujah need not to be anxious for anything amen we're not supposed to be anxious for anything or hallelujah or hurrying up about anything. You can't force God to do what you are asking him to do. Amen. God works on his own time. Amen. Hallelujah. He works on his own timing. And so therefore, you and I have to wait on God according to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse Three, you know what it says. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. While you are waiting in that safe place, as you are waiting in that shelter place, as you are waiting in that secure place out of the danger of Satan, hallelujah, because you know he comes as a thief to kill, steal, and destroy, but God is protecting you, hallelujah, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, and you are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, hallelujah. Remember when God told Moses at the Red Sea, when his back was against the Red Sea, and he was facing the army of Egypt, and they were fearful, amen. That's one of Satan's number one's tactics is bringing fear, amen. But you've got to remember that God had not given unto you and me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, hallelujah. Glory to God. He told Moses to tell the people, stand still and see the salvation of God. Hallelujah. So stand still and see and wait on God as he deliver you out of all of your distress, diseases, sickness, finances, financial situation, or whatever you are dealing with, God is right there with you, and he will never abandon you. Amen. I am trusting God for so many things. Amen. Even now, we're getting ready to go to Cameroon, 
Africa, hallelujah, in about three to four months, amen, and we're believing God for finances for this trip, amen, am I worried? No, I'm not worried, I just came back from the Philippines, a successful group down there where many people were touched and got saved and came to the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, God is able, if he said he wants you to go, he will provide the way for you, amen, if he says stay, then he wants you to stay. You've got to learn how to wait on God. You've got to learn how to listen to his voice. You've got to learn how to know the voice of God. Hallelujah. And when you do know the voice of God, child of God, you are going to be able to know that he is working on your behalf. Amen. Psalms 46. Hallelujah. God is our refuge, a place of safety, strength, very present help in trouble. He'll always be with you in trouble. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the land or, or in the earth. Amen. Verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us us. Oh, glory to God. Can somebody lift your hands and praise him right now? The God of Jacob, hallelujah, Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Jacob's name was changed from Jacob to Israel. The God of Israel is our refuge. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him praise right now. Hallelujah. As you are being still and you you are waiting on God to complete the work that he has started in your life and in your family's life. Be still and know that Be I am God. and anxiety of waiting on you and getting tired and giving up. Father, I pray that you would intervene right now, and that you would strengthen them and that you would encourage them to hold on and to look unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of their faith. May they never give up. May they be strong in Jesus' name. Continue to pray for me. Continue to hold up this ministry in prayer. Please check out my YouTube channel, my Instagram channel, TikTok and Facebook and my website. Go to Brian Bassett's ministry. If you need further prayer, contact me at 952-240-0047. Listen, wherever you are, have a great day. Be blessed in Jesus' name. And remember, always, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. As you're being still and waiting on God to perform your miracle. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Bye-bye now.